Hey there everyone, this is Dan from the Strength Coach Tutor. Today we're going to go over solving math-related nutrition questions, but when they give you percentages in some of these questions, or you're asked to find the percentage of uh, how much of a macronutrient you're consuming in your diet. So I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step on how to solve each of these different types of questions when we're dealing with percents and nutrition-related questions. So let's go ahead and get started. So our first scenario here is an athlete is currently consuming 3,000 kcals. Their current caloric intake is 25% fat, 55% carbs, and 20% protein. How many grams of protein are they consuming? So in this type of question, they have to give you the total kcals that they are consuming and the percentage of each macronutrient that they're consuming out of that 3,000 calories. And then they're going to ask you, they could ask you, you know, how many kcals are they consuming from a specific macronutrient, which would be super easy. Um, but usually it's going to be that taking it a, a step further and asking how many grams of that macronutrient that you're consuming. So let's take a look at this first. So step one would be finding the number of kcals for the requested macronutrient. So again, this question is asking how many grams of protein are they consuming? So macronutrient that we're dealing with here in this question is protein. So we need to figure out how many kcals we're consuming worth of protein, right? And so if we're consuming 20% of 3,000 kcals, we would have to do 0.2, right? Convert that uh, percentage into a decimal. So 0.2 times 3,000, and that would equal 600 kcals from protein, all right? That's our first step. That's kcals. But now, the remember, the question's asking us how many grams of protein are they consuming? So let's take a look at the next slide to see uh, what that step two is going to be. So now that we've found uh, the kcals from protein, we're now going to divide the kcals that we got by the, that macronutrient's kcals per gram for the requested macronutrient, for, in this case, protein, right? So again, we got 600 kcals for protein. That was 20% of 3,000. And we're going to divide it by 4 kcals per gram, right? Because protein is 4 kcals per gram. And so we're going to do 600 kcals divided by 4 that's going to give us 150 grams of protein. That's how, much, how many grams of protein they are going to be consuming. And therefore, that would be your answer choice. Simple as that, right? It's really just two steps there. You, you know, multiply that percentage you know, by converting to a decimal, and then you multiply that decimal into that total cake cows that they're consuming. And if they're asking you for grams, you have to take the cake cows you've just found and divide it by how many kcals per gram that macronutrient is, which again, for carbs and protein, that's four kcals per gram, and for fat, that's gonna be nine kcals per gram. Now on this next slide here, we're gonna go over a different scenario where uh, the, the situation is gonna be reversed, if you will, and you'll see what I mean here in a second. So second scenario here, an athlete is currently consuming 60 grams of fat, 250 grams of carbs, and 175 grams of protein what percentage of their total caloric intake is from protein? Okay, so what they've given us here are the three macronutrients and how many grams that they're consuming for each of these macronutrients. So our first step is to find the kcals from each macronutrient. So we would have to do 60 grams of fat times nine kcals per gram, right? Because fat is nine kcals per gram. So 60 times nine would be 540 kcals. Carbs, we would have to do 250 grams of carbs times four kcals per gram, and that would give us 1,000 kcals. And then protein, we would then do 175 grams of protein times four kcals per gram, equaling 700 kcals. All right, so that's step one. Step two is to now calculate the total kcals, right? And so all that involves is adding up those uh, kcals from each macronutrient. So we had 540 kcals from fat, plus 1,000 kcals from carbs, plus 700 kcals from protein. We add all that up and we get 2,240 kcals total, you know, based on what this question is providing us here, the 60 grams of fat, 250 grams of carbs, and 175 grams of protein. What that really means in terms of calories, we're consuming 2,240 calories uh, from that diet listed in this question, okay? But we're not done yet. We got the total kcals provided, right? But now we're trying to figure out what the percentage of their total caloric intake is from protein. So now let's look at step three to see how we get to this last step here. So now with step three, we have to calculate that percentage, right? What that percentage of their total caloric intake from protein is going to be. So what we have to do is now look back at step one, see how many kcals we were consuming from protein, which was 700. So we have to do 700 kcals from protein divided by the total kcals, which is 2,240, 
And when we divide that, we end up getting 31% of our total KCALs consumed from protein. So, right, so that 175 grams of protein that they're consuming makes up 31% of the total KCALs that they are consuming, okay? So in essence, guys, these are the two types of uh, percentage questions that you would see on the exam. Of course, going back to that step one, they may ask you for grams, they may ask you for KCALs. If it's uh, grams, it's gonna take you that extra step, but if it's KCALs, it's, again, it's very straightforward. Um, but sometimes what actually tricks people uh, and other students up more often than not is actually knowing how to do the math on paper, you know, because on the NSCA CSS exam, you do not have a calculator, you have to do this all by hand. And that's kind of the part that a lot of people struggle with. And so in a future video, and uh, when you come back to look at my channel here, is that I'll have a video posted on how to actually do the math by hand. And what I do, especially in terms of long division, which is kind of tricky for all of us, let's not lie, we haven't done long division probably since like middle school, and who does long division on paper anymore, right? So I'll be uh, doing a video on how I do my math on uh, the NSCACS exam to make it just easier for myself, right? Um, and again, this is all time-based, so we need to be able to do our math relatively quickly as well. So again, please come back and check out uh, more of our future videos here at the Strength Coach Tutor. Uh, you can also head to thestrengthcoachtutor.com for our online classroom, which we have the best resources available, and for individualized tutoring as well. Thanks, guys, and don't forget to hit that like button and click subscribe. Thanks, guys.